Christiana Rosa here with head coach Jonathan Vance. Coach, this was another phenomenal win. Can you break it down for me? Uh, yeah, all starts with starting pitching. Meriden Gutierrez was phenomenal tonight, and then we got out to an early lead, and BG kind of fed off that energy and just filled it up, and defense was really good behind him tonight. BG did a fantastic job, but Stephen Rule did a great job closing it out. You've mentioned several times that when Rule gets those opportunities, he does what he can do. Yeah, yeah, Stephen Rule, man. I mean, we talk about all the potential in the world. That guy, uh, one of these days it's going to click for him and he's going to get a little bit more consistent than he has. But uh, right now we'll just enjoy the flashes when we see them. And, and tonight was one of those flashes of him being really good. Obviously a lot of things worked really well for you, but what do you think worked the best today for you guys? Starting pitching. I think uh, the, the name of the game is pretty easy when you get a good, good, good performance out of your starting pitching you got a good chance to win a ball game and the way our offense is swinging it right now uh, I mean it was cruise it was cruise control from day one yeah today and yesterday you guys had almost shut out Kokomo until the eighth inning and that's when you guys let those runs in what are you going to do in the future to kind of fill a complete game and make sure that that chance for a shutout continues. Yeah, it's funny too because I mean it's, it is summer ball and obviously we, we want to win ball games but these guys are out there to get their work in and, and in a college season Brandon's probably not going back out there for the eighth uh, but uh, I mean this late in the year you want to lift like that from your starting pitching and the dugout was fired up behind him the dugout wanted him to go back out there so he kind of talked me into running back out there for the eighth and and he, he was definitely out of gas and, and we shot there with the first two batters uh, uh, so, yeah, that was kind of what led to that. It's, it's probably him being at his limit, but that just goes to BG and speaks volumes about the competitor that he is. How important is that mentality, especially in summer ball? Uh, it's huge, and, and that's kind of one of the reasons I brought Brandon out here, right? We, we kind of go way back, back to when I was still even a player. Uh, so the, that relationship kind of stemmed from me just being in awe of the competitor he was and the mindset he has at such a young age. So uh, now that he's in college ball and playing at Cal State LA, I knew that uh, he was the mindset was going to be there. So just kind of checking in on him and, and, and connecting those dots, seeing that the ability is still there and it kind of matches up. So I was more than happy to give him this opportunity, and he's – running away with it. I'm excited to watch him keep going. That's awesome. He did phenomenal say your pitchers have the past two days. You face Kokomo two more times in this series. What do you want to see? Yeah, we're not dead yet, right? I mean, we're still three, four games out of this thing uh, with a handful to play. So, uh, I mean, we can only do what we can do and control what we can control, which is winning all the ball games we can. So that's the mindset we're going forward. Thank you so much, Coach. Congrats Appreciate on the it. Christiana Rosa here with Oliver Service. Oliver, you had a fantastic game today. What led to that greatness? Uh, I mean, I don't even know, really. I kind of just came out and played. Nothing was really different or anything. Uh, my first at bat, hit a weak ground ball, but uh, Sabe Morin was just like, hey, don't get yourself out kind of thing. Just kind of let it come to you. And then it was off to races from there. And uh, but, yeah, it was a fun day today with the guys, and, you know, hopefully we can keep swinging it pretty good. Was it Saborn's little speech to you that really carried you through the rest of the innings? I mean, after that first at-bat, you had three singles and a double. Yeah, I mean, him just saying that kind of just brought me back down. You know, I was a little upset with myself, you know, because I kept getting myself out uh, today and yesterday. So I was just kind of like, all right, that kind of just gave me like a relaxed state in the batter's box, and it kind of just took me the rest of the day. Right after the game, you said that you needed this day. You needed this performance. How are you going to utilize that going forward? Uh, you know, it's only going to build confidence, so it's only up from here. I'm just going to take what I took today into the next couple more games and uh, hopefully end on a good note. Before the game today, you were doing a lot of position practice, and that tired you out, but how did you overcome that? Um, you know, I kind of just wanted to test my limits of what I could do before a game and uh, see how it felt, and uh, it felt pretty good. Hopefully you'll see me at uh, third base a couple of days. <laughs> Woo! But, yeah, that's uh, something in the works. But uh, just kind of get as many reps at as many positions as I can. Uh, but, yeah, it feels good. How has that helped you as a player and as a person? Uh, you know, kind of just as a catcher, you know, you kind of got to know, like, what everybody needs to do. And I think learning those other positions has really helped me get an understanding for where everyone needs to be at in a communication standpoint. And I think it's going to be a really good thing for me going into school, you know. As long as I hit, I'll have somewhere to play, you know, if I just keep practicing a bunch of other positions. So. All right. Thanks, Oliver. Congrats Thank on the win. Thank you. Christiana Rosa here with starting pitcher Brandon Gutierrez. 
Brandon, you had yourself a day today, seven innings pitched, only allowing two runs, and that was at the tail end of your journey. Walk me through this. Um, yeah, just uh, it was really easy getting going because the offense got started off really early, so it was just easy throwing strikes and just letting the defense do the job for me, honestly. This is the most that you've pitched for the Leprechauns. How did your teammates support you in that? Um, honestly, they supported me the best they could. They were always there, you know, putting up runs, so it just made it really easy to throw strikes and then knowing that they're making plays behind me. So, Through your first six and a half, seven innings that you did throw, you had no runs, no hits allowed. How did that feel for you, and how did that motivate you going to the rest of the game? Um, it just felt really good. It was, you know, it was really motivating to be able to get guys out as early as I could, and it just was great. As you left the mound, um, when you are taken out from the game, what were your teammates saying to you when you went into the dugout? Um, they were just really hyping me up, you know, really being good teammates and just supporting me as much as they could. You've been all smiles <laughs> the entire game, especially since that win. And some of that win comes down to head coach Jonathan Vance. Can you tell me a little bit more about your history with coach? Uh, yeah, you know, Vance has always been there for me. Uh, he coached me my sophomore year of high school, and, you know, he's just always been there for me, you know, supporting me and being there for me. Going into the rest of this week, you're not going to be throwing anymore, but what do you want to see from your pitchers? Um, just throwing strikes and just competing every day. That's, that's all we could ask. Thank you so much. Congrats yeah. on the win. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to tonight's matchup between the Royal Oak Leprechauns and the Kokomo Jackrabbits. The Jackrabbits are back at it again tomorrow night at 635, so make sure you come out to Memorial Park, or if you're not in town, tune in on the Northwood League Plus app. See you there.